Hey, welcome back everybody. Sign here again with another additional Creatures Paranoia the Creature Spotlight video. And today we've got the Partridge Creek Beast. This uh, crossbreed of a Ceratosaur and a Uteranus. Uh, so this is based actually off of a, uh, a cryptid spotted in Partridge Creek, Canada. Uh, this thing was basically spotted hauling a caribou corpse around. So, yeah. Definitely an interesting little story there. So you're going to find these guys uh, in snow areas, really, when you get down to it. Uh, snow on the island, snow dome, and ever, or, uh, extinction, and that's it. Uh, modded maps, you have better luck finding them. Um, but the story maps, those are the only two maps that actually have a snow area. So for the most part, it's your fairly typical carnivore when it comes to getting around. Uh, got actually a pretty decently fast walking speed and it's got a pretty good running speed right and oh i didn't mention yeah these things are a knockout tame and their saddle is a uterana saddle they don't actually have their own saddle all right so but move sets right left click bite they they bite they have a decently fast uh attack speed it's not great not horrible right click is they have this wonderful horn attack they do. Uh, can't do it while moving. Inflicts bleed. Has a slight cooldown. Uh, about three seconds-ish. I'm spamming the right click here. So that's about as fast as you can do that. Pretty decent knockback on him. Like I said, and inflicts bleed. Uh, let's see. Your C is a roar. Which is... Kind of a... It's kind of strange watching it. They just kind of lift their head a little bit. They don't actually get their body into it at all. Oh, and actually they have a second roar. Right. This is just like their regular roar. It does drain torpor on animals around it. So it's a frightened roar. And then there is the, basically the, the good old fashioned Uteranus roar, right? Spook everything, you know, it's the fear roar. And... Well, not quite the pure roar. You can see that, like, the uh, fairy here has sparkles. It's uh, frightened, like, what the mammoth does for their intimidation thing. Same, roughly the same thing. Uh, Partridge Creek, they're immune to freeze. So these would actually be fairly decent against the Ice Titan. Uh, especially, you know, you breed them up nice, maybe get a couple of health mutations on them or whatever, but they won't be frozen. Uh, when you're running around, uh, pelts only waste 5% of normal in their inventory, so these are the ultimate pelt gatherers. And the last thing is they give an insulation buff to their rider, right? Which, whenever I'm not on it... Come on. Wait for it to update here. There we go. 474, right? Up on here. Check my stats. 1037. So we're looking at what five hundred and what ninety ish? Oh no, five hundred and sixty ish insulation, both hyper and hypothermal. So if you're on Ragnarok, definitely get one of these guys. You can ride around on these guys in hide armor in the murder snow, and they will keep you maybe not comfortable, but they'll keep you alive anyway. Uh, that's pretty much it for this guy, though. He's just your kind of typical little carnivore. Uh, he's got his little fear roar he does. He's got the the frightened roar. You know, the, the startle, let's put it that way. And uh, damage-wise, he's not great. Um, about about carno level damage. I mean, not great, not horrible. Does inflict the bleed. Which is helpful. Now this is a level 225 and we're doing 200 damage, right? It's not not stellar. But it doesn't really have to be either. Oh, thank you. Andrew Sarkis is cleaning up my mess. Uh, their main thing is they're good at gathering pelt. And they're good at keeping you alive when it's cold out. Or hot, as the case may be. But thank you for coming out. I hope you enjoyed this video, and until the next one, the sign signing out, have fun.